All right, so today we're going to do their large scale column chromatography to purify the mixture pigment. So I'm going to briefly introduce, introduce how this huge column works. Uh, their basic theory is exactly the same as their TLC, but difference is, difference is we don't coat our absorbent on the plate anymore because we need a, a lot more huge amount. So what do we use? We use a glass or a plastic column and put our absorbent with a silica gel into it and load a sample on the top and then we load our solvent and it eluded, eluded, eluded down the sample so we can purify it. So here is how we load the co this column. So at the bottom we need uh, some cotton and we put some sand on the cotton then we we uh, mix the silica gel with the hex non polar solvent, which is hexins or other non polar solvent, as the absorbent. Make it into a slurry, pour it in, and uh, once we pack the absorbent, we can load another layer of sand on the top, and then we load our sample, and probably we can load another layer of sand on the top, just to isolate our sample. Uh, from their solvent as to avoid the direct contact. And uh, the last step is to load our solvent and uh, use, use the, we can either use the gravity to let their solvent dripping down or we can use some air, pressed air to push it, push it through their solvent through their uh, absorbent. So here is an example of a TLC. Let's just assume we have three different compounds in the in the original spot, and we got a most most polar one three and the mid, the least polar ones one. So in the large scale column, you can just consider this TLC upside down. So we can have the we can have the first sample eluded out first. And then second, and the, then the third. So the more polar sample will stay on the top. The less polar sample will go to the front. That's how their large scale column chromatography work to separate their uh, organic mixture. So the first step of this, this experiment is to reflux their paprika in the DCM. So the setup is look, looks like this. Um, so be, be att pay attention that the water, water flow will go in from the bottom and go, up, go out from the top. And uh, when, you try, when, you, when, you, when you are heating up, try not like the refluxing line goes up too high. To separate our product, we need to set up a column. So you, as you can see, this is their large scale column. And uh, first, we need to put this bottom bore inside of this column and uh, use the two sticks, push it down like that. And then you can see I have already put the uh, cotton at the bottom. So next up, we need to add some sand to the bottom, just on the top of this, co this column. And next, we need to use a little bit of hexen to, to rinse it off. If the gra gravity is not as sufficient to push, to, to elude down all the hexens you got in here, we can use the L to press it down. And the next step, we need to load this silica gel into the column. So here we use the wet loading. So basically, we have around 50 milliliters of silica gel in this beaker and around 100 milliliters of hexins. 
So we add the acetylic gel to the hexanes. Be very careful because it's very fluffy. And shake it just to make the silica gel powder to a slurry. Like that. And that is good. Next, we just pour this into the column. So this step will get rid of all the L in the silica gel to avoid any bubble in the column. And again, we can use the press the L to push it down to pack this column. But still we have some uh, silica gel attached to the, to the side of this column. So we can use, again, use this hexins to rinse it off. Usually we want a little bit more hexanes above the silicon here, just in case this silicon gel will not dry out on, at the top. So that's how we pack the column. All right, so now the refluxing is down and uh, it's, it's cooled to the room temperature. So I can take it off and I do the vacuum filtration. So now this is the vacuum filtration setup. I've already put their filter paper in the Bikna funnel. Just to need to wet the filter paper a little bit before I actually put it in, pour it in. Shake it a little bit and pour it in gently. Now there's no no more liquid dripping off from the bottom, so that's it down. Alright, so now we got the DCM with our mixture in it. Next, we're gonna rotovap it down with silica gel so we can load our samples to the column. That was that how it looks like. Then we wrote a vap down here. Alright, so we got our, our sample wrote a vap down with the cigar gel. It looks like that. And uh, before we load it to the column, we need to add a little bit of sand on the top of the column just to, to keep their silica gel in the column packed. And then next, we're gonna load our sample to it. All right, so the sample loaded. We're still leave a little bit more solvent on the top and then next we can start eluding it we can see a red band starting eluding out
Now it's reached the bottom of the silica pad. When you stop pushing right here and the switch the container at the bottom. Okay, so we got the red button at the bottom. So just keep going. We can use a beaker or an aluminum flask to collect their, this portion. Now it's pretty much done. Stop collecting here. All right, we can see this yellow band. We just keep pushing, use a clean aluminum flask. That's pretty much. Now we got two different portions.